System Dynamics was developed here at MIT by Jay Forrester, uh, who was an engineer originally applying feedback control principles to servo mechanisms. And then he went on and developed the first reliable high-speed digital computers in the world. This led to the application of feedback control theory to business problems, management problems, and social problems. Well, today it's a vibrant field being uh, worked on all around the world. Folks are applying system dynamics in public policy, in business issues, management issues, organizational, strategic, operational. It's an integrative systems discipline, so we focus on whatever the important problems are and bring together the subject matter experts that we need. So system dynamics has been applied extensively in public policy as well as in business, including defense and intelligence applications, environmental, energy policy, a wide range of, of others. My particular interest is in sustainability. It's, it's a very interesting time in which we live. Many things are getting better and better, but at the same time, other things are getting worse and worse, and everything is changing faster and faster. So the challenge of sustainability is the challenge of creating a world that is sustainable not only ecologically, but economically, politically, socially, and even personally. In our sustainability initiative, we take an integrated systems perspective on this. It's one of the things that distinguishes our work from other great work going on in this area. So we're looking to help our students through our research, through our teaching, through projects that they do, get out in the real world and understand what the actual challenges are to help build a more sustainable society. Practical, operational work that they can learn how to implement. Well, it's important not only to be advising policymakers and helping businesses, but to walk our talk. So for a number of years now, uh, we've had a walk the talk task force which is dedicated to greening the campus here. I'm one member of that task force. There are many others, faculty, senior administrators, and students. And we've done a wide range of projects to reduce the energy use and other resource impacts uh, here on the campus, uh, ranging from uh, dorm energy conservation competitions to a caulking project that I led for the old Sloan School building where we caulked all the windows in the building in one afternoon, saved about ten to seventeen thousand dollars worth of energy and had a great time doing it. Uh, and the students learned how to caulk windows, which they can then go home and do that at their apartments. Uh, most importantly, we at Sloan just moved into our new building, our new home, uh, which is now the greenest building on the campus. And along with Paul Asquith, I was the co-chair of the building committee and was an early advocate for making it as green as possible. So uh, it's, it's a terrific building in which to work. It's very comfortable, the spaces are great, but it's also highly energy efficient, uses much less water and other resources, has a green roof, is solar ready and so forth. And uh, it's now a model for uh, other buildings on the campus and the design process that we used, an integrated design process, is now the model for designing other buildings here on the campus.